Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I am going to discuss operations on integers. Recall that integers are signed whole numbers. It can be expressed as a positive, a negative, or a neutral zero. For positive integers, some real-life applications may involve profit, distance above the ground, added points, and others. For negative integers, we have deficit, below the ground, and deducted points. In number line, all negative numbers are found on the left side of zero and positive numbers on the right side of zero. For addition of integers, we need to remember only two rules. First, if we are adding like signed or same signed integers, we first need to add the absolute values of the addends and then affix the sign to the sum. For our first example, say find the sum of positive 8, positive 5, and positive 17. So adding the absolute values of these numbers gives us a sum of 30. And since all the integers are positive, the sum is positive 30. For example number 2, determine the sum of negative 23, negative 7, and negative 11. Again, Get the sum of the absolute values of the integers. Absolute value of negative 23 is positive 23. Absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7. The absolute value of negative 11 is positive 11. Adding 23, 7, and 11 gives us a sum of 41. And since all the integers are negative, we will affix negative sign to the sum. This gives us now a value of negative 41. Second rule will be applied if we are adding unlike signed or different signed integers. Here we first get the absolute value of the addends. Next, subtract the smaller value from the larger, then affix the sign of the larger absolute value in the difference. As an example, find the sum of negative 12 and positive 9. So here we will subtract the higher absolute value by the smaller value. Absolute value of negative 12 is positive 12 minus 9 that gives us a difference of 3 and since the absolute value of negative 12 is higher, we copy the sign of 12 which is negative. Hence, the sum here is negative 3. Also another example, find the sum of the following integers negative 21, 11, negative 13, and 22. In this example, we will use both rules. We will add first integers with like signs or same signs. Those are negative 21 and negative 13. So adding the two gives us a sum of negative 34. We add the absolute values, then copy the sign which is negative. For both positive numbers, 11 plus 22, that is equal to positive 33. Adding both sums, negative 34 and positive 33, this gives a result now of negative 1. In subtraction of integers, we first copy the minuend. Next, get the opposite sign of the subtrahend. Then proceed to addition rules. For our first example, negative 19 minus positive 25. As mentioned, we will copy the minuend that is negative 19. We change the sign of the subtrahend. If that is positive 25, that will now become negative 25 and then we will proceed to addition. We now have negative 19 plus negative 25. Since both integers have negative signs, we will just add the values. 19 plus 25 is 44. We affix negative to the sum. Hence, the difference when negative 19 and 25 will be subtracted is negative 44. Second example in subtraction of integers, negative 17 minus negative 18. Here, we copy the minuend, negative 17. Changing the sign of the subtrahend, negative 18 will now turn into positive 18. Then we will proceed to addition. Now, as you can see, we now have unlike signed integers being added. So here, we will subtract the values. 18 minus 17 is 1. And since 18 has a greater absolute value, we will copy the sign of 18, which is positive. The difference now is positive 1. Another example, 18 minus 27 minus negative 2 minus negative 5. 
So changing all the signs of the subtrahend, we now have 18 plus negative 27 plus positive 2 plus positive 5. Again, adding the integers which have like sign, that is 18 plus 2 plus 5, which is 25 plus negative 27. Now we have unlike signed integers being added. Subtract 27 by 25, that is 2. And since 27 has a greater absolute value, we copy the negative sign. Hence, the difference when all of these integers were subtracted is negative 2. Now for multiplication and division of integers, you just have to remember two rules for signs and then proceed to the operation. In multiplying and dividing like signed integers, let's say positive times positive, negative times a negative, or positive divided by a positive number, negative number divided by a negative number, gives us a product and quotient that is always positive. Second rule, for unlike signed integers, the product and quotient is negative. Example number one, positive 15 times positive 11. Simply multiply the numbers, that is 165. And since both integers are positive, the product is also positive. Product here is positive 165. Example number 2, wherein both numbers are negative, those are negative 11 and negative 2. Product of 11 and 2 is 22. And since they are like signed, the product should be positive. So here we have a product of positive 22. Example number 3, negative 30 times positive 14. 30 times 14 is 420. As you have noticed, one is positive, the other one is negative. So the product should be negative since they are unlike sign. Also, for division of integers, positive 15 divided by positive 3 has a quotient of positive 5. Negative 45 divided by negative 15. 45 divided by 15 is 3. Since both are negative numbers, they are like sign, quotient should be positive. For our last example, positive 625 divided by negative 25. 625 divided by 25 is 25. And since the two integers are unlike sign, one is positive, the other one is negative, then the quotient is negative. Hence, the answer here is negative 25. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless.